now that our pepper has been repotted, it's time to top this bad boy because we want to promote more growth on these side nodes. Couldn't find my shears, so we're rocking with the multi-tool today. I'm going to clip it at about the tenth node from the bottom. Yeah, great cut, right? The same way a tomato grows suckers, the pepper plant will grow new stems out of each one of these joints who will want to be the main stem, and it will be a bush. Super dry soil. This guy is the pepper that we topped and put its other half here in the water. As you can see, it's still pretty green, but uh, not really any root shit. By topping the plant, all of the nodes have decided that they want to be the top dog and everybody's growing out to be the number one node. So it gives us a bush. Woo! I got three words for you people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you recall, this is the pepper that we topped about a week or so ago. And look at that. Cheese Louise. Since topping it, each node is fighting to be the main node and your plant ends up growing out instead of up. Prune your plants. You won't regret it. Time for another trim. It's pepper growing season, people. Our pepper plant is looking good and turning into the bush that we wanted it to and it's time for another trim. This one is already splitting into two separate nodes, so we'll leave it alone. This guy has come a long way, so we'll give him a quick snip. Right there. Give me a moment and I'll finish up. Why not? Now all of the lower hanging leaves have been trimmed, and all of our tops have been chopped. Should get a pretty fat bush now. 